Are you wondering how you can send enterprise data from increasingly diverse new services in near real time to Amazon, open search and perform searching? Today I will demonstrate how can you set up near real time GitHub event log streaming to Amazon open search with Kinesis Data Firehose and Amazon API Gateway. Hi everyone, my name is Rupesh Tewari. I am an analytics specialist solutions architect in AWS with a focus on Amazon open search service. Before jumping into the demo, let's see why you want to build this solution. If we look at the amount of data created back in 2022 and much of this data is log data, we are talking 96 zettabytes. It's just a huge enormous amount of information. Our customers share their challenges to us. We hear from companies all the time that they are looking to extract more value from that 96 zettabyte of data. But they struggle to capture, store and analyze all the generated data, especially when the data is coming from increasingly diverse new sources such as websites, CRM tools, chatbots, agile platforms, GitHub or other source control systems. Constantly pulling real-time data at a scale can exceed the system API call limit restrictions and that is restricting your further API calls. There is a need to move from pooling based to push based architecture. Customer wants to build faster responding systems such as workflow automations. Example, whenever a new customer registered, you want to add them in the subscribed user list and update the dashboard in near real time. To build systems that fetches business data from each diverse sources in near real time at a scale can become costly. And finally, the desire is to get the right data to the right people to make better, more informed decisions and automations. Solving these problems requires that your systems are up and running, which is challenging as landscapes sprawl. So here is fully managed Amazon open search service makes it easy for you to perform interactive log analytics, real-time application monitoring, website search and much more. You only focus on analysis instead of spending time managing your deployment. It gives authentication, authorization, encryption, audit and regulatory compliance, deliver log and trace analytics solutions on data at petabyte scale and most importantly manage growing analytics cost. All features are included without upsell. With that, let's jump into our architecture for today's demo where we will use Amazon API Gateway, AWS Lambda, Amazon Kinesis, Amazon OpenSearch and Amazon S3 Bucket. In this demo, I will build a solution to stream GitHub logs to Amazon OpenSearch. You can use any data source that supports webhooks. So in this diagram, if you notice, we are using webhook to integrate Git events. Webhooks are a way for one application to provide other application with real-time information whenever they occurs rather than constantly pulling for new data. This can help save on server resources and costs. Next, Git webhook will invoke API gateway that will send the payload to the Lambda function which then transforms the data and add to the Kinesis data stream that gets delivered to the S3 bucket and at the same time delivers to the open search in near real time using Kinesis data firehose. Finally, I will demo how to set up a visualization in Amazon open search dashboard to view the GitHub log counts. So go ahead and create the Amazon open search service first. So I will create the new domain and give this domain a name. I will select the development and testing for this demo. So first we will change the instance type to T3 medium search for this demo and we will select the single availability zone change the number of nodes to 1 and EBS storage size to 30 I will select the public access for this particular demo you can keep it VPC and create the user so we will give it a username and password and use the fine grain access control for our access policy and create this cluster so this cluster will take some time to create so let's go ahead and create the S3 bucket meanwhile so go ahead and give the name of the S3 bucket and create the bucket. Next I will go ahead and create the Kinesis data streaming. So select the data streams and create the new data stream. Give it a name and create it. 
while it is creating we will go ahead and create the kinesis data delivery stream which will deliver the data from kinesis data stream to s3 bucket so create the delivery stream select the data stream and s3 bucket as the destination and kinesis data stream source will select next we will give it a new name and then for the destination i will select the s3 bucket that we have created let's change the buffer size interval to 60 second so that it will just the data after every 60 second and create the delivery stream next we will go ahead and create the lambda function so create lambda and give it a name change the runtime to python 3.10 and create this function so this is our demo code which is using put record api to ingest the data to kinesis this is the schema for that and there are various languages that it supports i will use python api let's change the lambda function timeout to more than three seconds so that it will not frequently timeout before we update the code and now i'll copy this code and paste it into our lambda function Change this event to data so that we will use the line number 7 dummy data to ingest into Kinesis. Now we have to add the permission to the execution role so that it can add the data to Kinesis data stream. I will open the role of the lambda function, attach the policy here for the Kinesis. I will select full access for the Kinesis and add the permission. Next I will create an API gateway to invoke our lambda function. So let's go ahead and create the rest base api and give the api new name and create this api next i will add the resource give the resource a name and once the resource is created i'll add the method we need a post method here and i need the lambda function to be invoked so copy the lambda function that we created and paste the name of that so we need a access to invoke the lambda function so let's hit ok after this i will go ahead and deploy our api so let's go ahead and deploy this API into the new stage called it as a test stage. Once it is there, let's go ahead and check our Amazon open search service dashboard and configure it. So I will go to the dashboard, enter the username and password that we have created. I will explore my own data and keep this as a global. So next we'll go ahead and create the data delivery stream to stream the data into Amazon open search service. So let's create the new delivery stream in the source Kinesis data stream and in the destination open source service. We will select the source as the data stream that we have and change this data stream name. In the destination, I will select the open search cluster name and give the index a name and change the buffer interval to 60 seconds. Next, for the backup setting, let's select the S3 bucket that we have created so that all the failure record will come here and we'll create the delivery stream after that we have to map the role of the data delivery stream with the amazon open search service backend role so that it can index into amazon open search so copy the arn of the role of the data delivery stream and go to the dashboard and security roles and in the role let's select the all access role mapped users and manage mapping here in this backend role we need to paste the data delivery stream role and map it with this it will be able to index into the amazon open search now let's go ahead and attach the new policy the role so we will attach the policy and we will search for open search service i will select the full access for open search service and now let's go ahead and test this full path so in this testing i will not put any body and just hit on test so you will notice that this is successfully ingested into kinesis so let's go ahead and fetch the record in kinesis to confirm the record arrived and next i will go ahead and check the amazon open search dashboard whether it is arrived or not so let's create the new index pattern called it as a git logs so that we can fetch all the records now Let's go to the discover section of the dashboard, view the logs. So you can notice all the logs that we have pushed from Lambda API gateway arrived. So now let's create the new visualization, create a gauge and select the index that we had and it will show all the count of the number of uh, data that is arrived. Save this visualization and create the new dashboard, add an existing panel, select the data count that we have created as a panel and save this dashboard. 
So this will show the records that arrived in Amazon Open Search service. Now let me change the Lambda function to pass the payload from API Gateway all the way in Kinesis. So let's go ahead and create a brand new repo here. You can use your existing GitHub repo. So in this GitHub repo, I'll go to the settings and go to the webhooks and add the webhook. In this webhook, we need a payload URL. I will select the invoke URL of our REST API as a payload URL, post the data from GitHub. So select it as an application JSON and send me everything is the option that I will select and add this webhook. In order to generate couple of events, I will star uninstar our repo and go to the webhook and check the deliverables. So in the deliveries, you notice we have successful deliveries. Let's open one of them and check the response. And notice here the shard ID and sequence number is showing. So you notice the git event is arrived to our Kinesis data stream. And let's go ahead and check the S3 bucket after that. And notice all the git events are arrived in our S3 bucket as well. Let's query one of them to confirm the git event. Next, I will go ahead and check the dashboard that we are showing the count is four. Let's refresh it. Notice the count is 15 now. So let's go ahead and discover this data. So I'll go ahead into discover and check the git events arrived. So this concludes our demo of how to stream git events to Amazon open search. You are responsible for the cost of the AWS services and any third party licenses used while running this solution. So there is no additional cost for using the solution. Our customer has been using this solution to ingest their increasingly diverse new sources such as website, microservices, CRM tools, chatbots, agile platforms, GitHub or other source control systems. And I hope this is helpful for your business as well. If you have any further queries, please reach out to us. Thank you.